Gene Bosler here, Houston, Texas, August 30th, 2010. I'm on a residential construction site. Um, looks to me like some recent tree work was done. I don't know that any pre-construction tree preservation measures were taken. Let's take a look at this live oak and the building clearance pruning that was done. Now, you may have heard me discuss in previous uh, video postings a, a little thing called the ANSI standard, American National Standards Institute. Well, we got a pruning standard and, well, it's easy to read, but it's a lot harder to put into practice. So let's let's talk about this tree. Let's look mainly at this branch here that's closest to the corner of the building and follow it back down to the trunk and we can see that it has been lion's tail. Now no arborist deserving of the appellation arborist would do this to a tree. This isn't just where they removed a bunch of dead branches. These are perfectly good cuts. I mean, live branches of decent diameter size, like four and five inches. I'm not going to go ahead and pick on them for the uh, flush cuts. That's for a different video or posting. Uh, please pardon uh, my difficulty in focusing, uh, zooming and focusing with this particular camera. So, the tree was pruned from the bottom up. A climber, clearly an unskilled climber. I'm not questioning that he's been doing it for years. But, uh, they start at the bottom and they, they cut everything on their way up to the top. And when they get out to the end to do the clearance, <laughs> there's nothing left to cut back to. See now, if they'd have left something intact, they could have pruned this, they could have done a heading cut. The ANSI A300 standard requires that a, a lateral be a minimum of one third the diameter of the cut that you're making. And that's how you do a, a crown reduction or reduce the uh, overextended end of a leader like this. They could have cut back to here, leaving this smaller one intact, right? It's well over a third. It's half or more of the diameter of the cut. So they could have removed all of this, and that would have been a suitable. I'm not saying it would have been ideal. I'm not saying it would have been beautiful, but it would have been a suitable, acceptable, lateral cut to, to cut back to. So again, people prune from the bottom up. They remove stuff on their way out. It's easy to do. Interiors of trees get completely gutted, like this pine. Um, this was pruned on the way up too, this post oak. This post oak here, big cuts. Interior completely gutted. Can you see all the fresh uh, removal of all the fresh cuts showing that the sprouts were, were gutted off of this tree? This tree was stripped out too. These are post oaks. And no slouches of post oaks at that. Decent, decent specimens. Okay, so the point being if your object, this was pruned, uh, uh, I don't think objectives were clearly defined like uh, roof clearance, uh, removal of dead branches only. What was the reason? And here's the, the biggest, most important point of all. Easily 30, 40, possibly even 50% of this tree's photosynthetic leaf surface, uh, leaf population, was removed. It's 100 degrees every day here in August, and it's just got done, and these trees are undergoing the stress of construction. So is it, is it prudent, and is it in the best interest of the tree to remove almost half of its foliage just because it resides on the interior, and we think it's unsightly? 
what was the reason for removing this much live foliage from this tree? And heck, the clearance objective wasn't even achieved. They haven't even gotten to the roof yet. This is going to need to come out all the way. There's going to be an overhang there. That's 12 inches of clearance. So they didn't even achieve their clearance objective. Why? Because they didn't have anything left to cut back to. Because they pruned it on the way up. Right? So this is a guy who, in my opinion, he has every right to say, I ain't paying. I'll take your butt to court. Because this was not pruned to anything even remotely resembling industry standard. But anyway, you have to call somebody else because I don't want to get up in the big hairy middle of that.